Hey, hi, what's up? Uh, my name is Arslan and I'm uh, making a ZBrush Advanced Series. So in this, uh, in this lesson, I wanted to show you the power of uh, Decimation Master, the wonderful plugin that ZBrush has. So as you can see, I was working on a bike model. So I was trying to like polish my hard surface skills. So I was making brake paddle for uh, the bike model, uh, my concept bike model, which I had. So in this, as you can see, like if I will select a mesh because it's all dynamics. So as you can see, the poly count is really very high. So as we all know, we cannot use this for like if you want to render it in ZBrush, then it's okay. But if you want to take it to external package like ZBrush, like Maya, Max, or any other rendering application which you want, so it will be very difficult for that application to handle this kind of geometry. So what is the solution which we have? So like the makers of ZBrush have put a one really wonderful plugin which is called Decimation Master. So I'll go to Z plugin folder. If you have like working on ZBrush uh, 4 and up, then you will have this thing. Or if you don't have, then you just go to zebrascentral.com and from there, uh, pixelogic.com. From there, you can download uh, this plugin and all others which are there. Uh, I'll try to cover all of them uh, in the next uh, coming series. So just uh, in this lesson, we will see the power of Decimation Master, okay? So as you can see, the poly count is really very high. So what we can do, we can go to Z, Z plugins and then decimation master. Then you need to select this button, like pre-process uh, current. Okay, for now these buttons like freeze border and keep UVs are of no use, but we will see what they do. So just click this button, pre-process current. This will pre-process like for dissipating this uh, like a very crucial step which is called pre-processing. So this process, uh, this uh, this button will pre-process your current selected tool. And if you press it, uh, like click pre-process all, then all the subtools which are there in your uh, palette will be pre-processed. So it's better to pre-process one at a time because then you have more control over it. Okay, now my pre-processing is done. If we see the mesh, uh, we can see hardly see any difference or there's no difference at all. So what does this do? So I'll like switch off the poly frame mode from shift F, then I'll switch it off. Then I'll go to this, uh, you can see this uh, like decimation percentage of decimation and decimate current. So percentage of decimation decides uh, how much you want to decimate your model. So I'll show you first, then I'll uh, talk. Like if I will do it uh, like, um, what do you say, 10%. Uh, it is showing the poly count of the newly generated mesh will be like 226. Uh, K thousand and then I'll push this button decimate current then I'll wait you can see okay now it's done so when I uh, like select the wireframe mode once again like pressing shift and F now you can see the new topology uh, it has like optimized your uh, the entire mesh according to uh, and kept the polygons where they are actually needed and removed from these areas which which are no longer required for the polygon mesh thing so it, this is really 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 cool feature which I like in ZBrush and if you want to remove these things also, then you can do one thing like control Z and this thing works and you have to pre-process the mesh only once. Now you can like, uh, if you want, you can choose like, what do you say, 2% uh, uh, of decimation, then click decimate current and it's better to turn off the file frame mode because it might happen that your system gets like hang or something like that, decimate current. And now if I will see, I can see the entire like topology of the mesh has been preserved, but the polygons have been laid only in those areas which are actually required. So like I can go even further down this line. So I'll select, uh, like undo this thing and then I'll choose and you can do it in points also like 0 0.01, 0 0.02. I'll do, I'll try to do like 0.8 and then I'll do decimate current. Now you can see like some jagginess has started appearing on this end, but if it depends on the requirement. If like, if you want to take a like a distance shot, then it's not a problem. But if you are taking a close shot, then uh, like if you want your surfaces to be smooth, then you can like, it's on your requirement as you feel like. Now you can see that the polygons have been laid even more properly. So I can go back and then like these are the markers so you can decide to 50 percent decimation 0 0.1 or and it can take it up to two decimal places also like 0 0.02 0 0.03 something like that okay now this is delete cache and export all sub tools you can export your sub tools now there is one like cool option which is uh, uh, called freeze border and keep uvs because right now my borders are like it's uh, like a whole continuous mesh 
so if borders were there so it could have freeze my borders but now i'll show you one cool thing also like which is keep uvs because this is a dynamesh and we don't have uvs on it so it's not a problem but if for a mesh which you have laid all the uvs and everything and you want to decimate it uh, the decimation algorithm is like that it will destroy all the uvs which are there so by pressing this button you can preserve them so i'll show you i had a example for this thing i have opened this uh, uh, the uvs for this thing using uh, uv master so i'll flatten this thing out so you can see the uvs are there for uh, the mesh and you can see it's all covered but if i'll go to pre-process i'll pre-process this thing uh, it now it's done and if i will do a decimate current so you can see the decimation has lost to a quite great extent so i'll do like 10 percent of decimation only okay sorry i'll uh, first keep uvs and then i'll pre-process this thing and then i'll do decimate current now you can see uh, now you can see like if i go to flatten now my uvs are still preserved and my model is also decimated so you can do this thing now i'll undo this thing and show you one more cool trick like for example if you want to like preserve your polypaint data so what can you do because like once you decimate it your polypaint data will also go off so i'll decimate uh, like divide this mesh for two to three times then i'll like uh, i have modified my zbrush ui later out if you want you can like like oh yeah, uh, like you can leave me a comment i'll make a tutorial on that also like i can choose any color like white then i'll go to color then i'll fill object then i'll go to red color and then i'll turn on the rgb intensity and z add off then i'll paint this thing so if i uh, now if i'll try to like keep uvs and pre-process current uh, and one more like a tip which i would like to give you i'll uh, escape this thing i'll close this thing off like when you have your subdivisions on it so if you'll try to decimate it it will take more longer time to calculate uh, because it has to calculate all the one two three four subdivision levels so it's better to, uh, that you delete your subdivision levels current subdivision levels and then like uh, you go and uh, choose the skip uv thing and like you know, pre-process current this thing will take a lot of time so what i'll do i'll go to some like lower subdivisions and then i'll delete the higher one and delete lower ones and now the like uh, the calculation should not take like a very long time so i'll pre-process current uh, like it'll pre-process this thing now i'll decimate it now you can see all my polypaint data has lost because like uh, if you wanted that polypaint data and you wanted it there so it, it will be a, like a big problem for you so what you can do like select this thing and then go to destination master and then like use and keep polypaint now if you will use and keep polypaint and then you will decimate it like pre-process current keep you with keep uvs on um, now if you decimate it now you'll see the polypaint data is still retained and you have uvs also and everything looks like normal and good but the only problem is if your polypaint intensity will be like uh, for example you can see like if my polypaint was smooth over here so it has laid uh, like uh, the new topology according to that only but if you wanted a real ultra high low, low, uh, low res mesh so it could have given you a lot of problem like you can adjust the polypaint weight also like for example like if I go over here and I'll reduce the polypaint weight, now it won't like uh, affect. Uh, now polypaint will not affect the overall uh, mesh thing. So I'll decimate it again. Sorry, reprocess it. Reprocessing current, and now I'll decimate it. So you can see the polypaint has not affected the overall uh, how the UVs will be laid out. But there is a far better way than this. Like uh, as we have UVs on it, so I can go to uh, my texture map. UV map, uh, then I like increase the size. You can keep your UV size as what you want. Now I'll do a new from polypaint. Now have polypaint information on it. Now I'll go and switch this thing off. Uh, so uh, use and keep polypaint, and I'll turn this thing only on. Uh, keep polypaint. Then I'll pre-process this thing. Okay. Now then I'll decimate current. And now I have my polypaint data still on it. If I like like texture on, if I uncheck this thing, uh, my texture won't be there. And if I uh, turn on this thing, uh, my texture will be there, and my model will also be decimated. So it's a cool little trick which I wanted to share with you guys. If you like this thing, you can follow me on my blog and subscribe me and rate and comment over there, or you can ask questions and you can demand for tutorials also if you feel like. So once again, my name is Arslan. I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.